Hey guys, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today I am sharing a $100, it's technically $101 grocery haul with you guys. And if this is not the most pitiful grocery haul you have ever seen, at least on my channel for sure, usually I can make $100 stretch pretty well. But this week I did get many, I, I would say most of it, all of it is very convenient items and it's more expensive items for that convenience. But this is a camping and emergency prep style haul. All of these are things that are going on the camping trip with me in a couple of days. There are some more things I'm gonna be picking up, but this is the staple. If you go tent camping with kids, then you may feel me on this. Groceries that I bring with me when we go tent camping are all about convenience, fun, easy grab and go type things. That's why I also think that these things would be really great for emergency prep, especially for short term, like right when something has happened, the power's off and you need fast grab and go easy food. Back here we have a uh, we have diced peaches, diced pears, and mandarin oranges all in a 12 cup pack. This was uh, right at nine or $10. And then we have go-go squeeze. There are 10 apple, just plain applesauce squeezes, five apple peach, and five gimme five. So that has different, um, I don't even know what the variation is in that. Maybe banana and pear and apple, all of the things. This was $10. This is definitely not a, ne a necessary purchase, but when you're going camping or even emergency prep, it's nice to have something that is fun around for the kids just to keep them occupied and give them something to do. I, re I was really excited about this because it's decorate cookies, but it's with pen coloring that is obviously edible. My boys are five and seven, so using a pen instead of all of the messy like icings and things, I think it's gonna be really nice and convenient and fun while camping. Just keep the mess down, but still give them something to do. Toothpaste for the boys, this is just something that I need to pick up, so I went ahead and grabbed it, but I do always get new toothbrushes for after a camping trip. So these toothbrushes are for my boys. Basically what I do is we all bring our old, like normal toothbrushes camping and then we just ditch them after camping and we get new toothbrushes. I don't know why, but it just feels not the same <laughs> when you bring a toothbrush home after camping. Like it feels like I just don't wanna keep them anymore. I don't know why, like I don't know what I think we're doing with them, but I just use it as a good chance to go ahead and switch out toothbrushes. I needed hair ties, so this just kind of got lumped in. These are really nice drink additives, alternatives to like a sugary mix. These are like the little packets that you drop in a bottle of water. It's nice to have around for camping or emergency prep even to encourage kids to drink more water. And let's be real, to encourage me to drink more water. It only has 10 calories per pack. It only has one gram of sugar and 10 grams of carbohydrates, which is really, really good for any kind of like a sugary drink. And they taste really good. Trust me when I say I've tried all of the things. This is the most healthy you can get and it still tastes really, really good. Um, as far as like the brand goes. I like this particular flavor, this black cherry. I don't even love cherries, so it, I wouldn't say it tastes like black cherry, but it's just the flavor that I like the most from, from this True Lime, True Lemon brand. This is new, the kids version of, they have a kids fruit punch True Lemon and a kids blue raspberry. We've never tried these before, so we're gonna try them on this trip. Um, so I'm very excited about those. These are, I wanna say a couple dollars for 10, little individual packs, which is pretty pricey for this style, like these easy grab and go drink mixes or additives. But like I said, they're the healthiest thing that you can find if you want something that tastes really good. And I don't know, I've tried like watered, car like, like fizzy waters and things, and they just gross me out. But these are actually really, really good. I did get some of these caramel macchiato little coffee creamers. This is definitely, again, a splurge item. It's not something we need, but for tent camping, it's nice to have on hand just to easily add to a coffee instead of having to like keep a coffee creamer in the cooler. Also, um, same concept. These, you can keep them out of the fridge. So in an emergency, it might be nice to have some of these on hand because your creamer will go bad if the power goes off and the fridge goes out. Back here I have two easy grab-and-go breakfasts, breakfasts, 
<laughs> I have two easy grab and go breakfast little treats for the boys. One is an oatmeal squares. There's 12 bars in that one. And then 16 cereal bars in this Captain Crunch treats. It's a nice little meal or snack alternative when we are running around camping and I don't want to make the effort to like cook and pull all of the things out at that moment. We never buy these. I do think though that one of my sons will love them. So I'm gonna get these. These will be a nice little treat for him. It's the beef and the chicken flavor instant lunchable. Not lunchable, what are these called? Like noodles? Ramen, ramen is the word. You can tell I don't buy them a lot because I forgot what they were called. But they're the ones in the little soup box, which is obviously more than if you get in the bag, but for camping, that's gonna be really convenient and nice. I got these baby red potatoes because I love to put these in, it's called like a hobo pack. You wrap it up in tin foil, you put it on the fire or in the grill and they cook really, really nice. I would love to do some camping or like emergency style meals. If anyone's interested in that, let me know. But this is one of my favorites. You throw this in with chicken or beef or anything you want and it cooks really, really well. They make an amazing, easy meal. These are little snack cheeses. I'm gonna keep these in the cooler. Just an easy snack to have on hand. Bacon, I did get two packs of bacon. I love to pre-cook all of the bacon, either the night before, two nights before, whenever, and I freeze it and then I put it in the cooler. And then whatever we need, so say we want it for a BLT or we want a couple pieces just to snack on, I can take it out and we eat it as is or I can just throw it on the grill or like the little stove top that I have for just a couple minutes and then I'm done. So I'm all about convenience cooking whenever I am camping. So that's what I like to do. I also, which I, I couldn't find it in the store, I'm hoping I can find it before we go, but I like to buy the Tennessee Pride pack of 30, it's already like stamped out sausages, breakfast sausages. I do the same exact thing. I cook all of it before and then freeze it, throw it in the cooler whenever we're ready to go and then we have snacks or easy protein uh, easy protein snacks or the start of a good meal without me having to do a ton of work while we're out there camping. Moving over to bananas, just an easy healthy snack that my kids love. These will go in the cooler. These are Lunchables. I got two pizza Lunchables and three chicken Lunchables, little like chicken nugget Lunchables. My sons will love those. But I will say the last time we went camping, I brought a couple of these for them thinking they were gonna need these as snacks but they didn't even need it. We ended up cooking enough that it took care of everything. However, as a mom and their caretaker, it's nice to have these on hand, even if we don't end up eating them, just so I know we're covered in the case of like a hunger emergency for the kids. Coming back over here to the Bumblebee Lunch on the Run, I am so excited about this. Guys, this has a little fork in it. It has six crackers. It has a little chicken like chick a tin of chicken. It has one cookie and one little container of, I think that's peaches, mixed fruit. It has mixed fruit. This is perfect for an emergency bag. I've never seen these. Are these new? Because I need to look into these. I went ahead and grabbed three. We're gonna test these out while we're camping and I'm gonna let you guys know how we love, if we love these. And really you're gonna see these again in a grocery haul if we love them because this is genius and perfect for like a 72 hour bag or a bug out bag or anything like that that you may wanna have on hand in case of an emergency. So we are gonna look into this, guys. I'm gonna test it out, I'm gonna taste it. Actually, let me open it up really quick, hold on. Okay, so I went ahead and broke into one. Let's just dump it out. So there's the cookie, it has a full-size fruit cup, the crackers, and the little tin of chicken salad. So it's a chicken salad tin. These are, I mean, these are average size, they're not, I mean, this is like the size you would get in a kit, you know what I mean? It's not like the big size. But all of that comes in it. These were $2.50 for one of these kit. So perfect for an emergency kit, as long as it tastes good. Y'all know I'm a little bit picky. I won't just grab any old thing because it looks convenient. Even in an emergency, like I want to have food that my, myself and my kids will eat. So we're gonna test these out camping. I'm also gonna look and see if there's other variations. I did see in the store there was some snack on the run, but it didn't have like the, the full set that I'm super excited about. It just had like the chicken salad and maybe a couple crackers. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna look more into this because I'm very excited about this. And if we enjoyed it, you will definitely see this in an upcoming haul. And last but not least, I did get 10 macaroni and cheese packs. I thought it would be great to have on hand for an emergency anyway, and we will probably go ahead and bring a couple of them camping. So that is it. Oh, this goes in here. Okay, whatever. <laughs> 
So that is it. A very small haul for $100. I usually make our money stretch a little bit more than this, but again, this was more of a convenience haul. All items that will be great for camping and they could also be great for emergency stockpiling as well. As always, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.